So, Logan, any reason you need to have three Pac-Man montages all reaching double-digit minutes, especially if it's basically the same combo for about 80% of it? Now a question to Chaos Key. Why must you follow in his example? Pro tip to people making Smash montages. If you're reaching double digits and the montage is 80% of the same combos and setups, scrap it. So, am I the only one bothered by the fact that he leaves the entire first stock in this montage? I mean, nothing interesting even happens during this bit. It's just Lucas and Kirby throwing moves out and hoping they get their reads. And really, if it's just the forward smash read you wanted, you could have just cut the footage to where you get just that. Making a sit through the entire first stock just to see that forward smash is boring and ultimately loses its effect. That and it explains why this whole fucking montage is like 15 minutes long. And now he actually starts cutting the footage. So what, you couldn't cut the entirety of Kirby's first stock but you could cut footage for this bit with Little Mac? Get used to seeing this move. The montage is named after it and it's going to get boring to watch really fast. Also, random jump cut here so you'll never know how he magically got that 21% damage. All that just so he can kill Boz with the same move he did before. Hell, he doesn't even try to make a joke about that. I mean, come on, Alpha Rad would have at least done a mirror match Mario Kart joke and it would have worked. And another random jump cut so you couldn't see Chaos Key getting wrecked from 45% to 90% by Captain Tryhard. He just can't handle the Tryhard. Didn't you just do that joke? Like, five minutes ago? I get run on gags, but running them 30 seconds from each other is tiring. Get that joke some water. Hydration is important. Also, a Lucas main thinks pills are energy-based projectiles to heal from. As a Nest main, this is not okay. This joke doesn't work because Lucas is neither attacking with his knee or with justice. Captain Tryhard is looking at this and can't even. You're rolling just as much as Rosalina is. Fuck you and your bakery. Also, another nice random jump cut so people couldn't see you getting destroyed by Rosalina after taking her first stock, which I can only assume was done with an up smash. Just a hunch. Proceeding with another one. If you guys don't get what I'm trying to say, it's that Chaos Key takes out the parts where he's probably playing incompetently as Lucas in an attempt to look like MLG Lucas. TLDR, Chaos Key is fraud. And here's where this montage starts to bug me. First off, that Wario wasn't trying too hard, he was trying to use the bike to get some horizontal recovery so he has a better chance to up be recovered back to the stage. He was just unlucky enough to be gimped by the bottom of the stage. It's actually a very smart tactic for Wario players to do to recover back to the stage. Secondly, he says this again about a Diddy Kong player who tried to get an offstage kill, even though Diddy Kong does benefit from having an air game that allows him to easily shift from an onstage play to offstage. So what, committing to your combos even if it means going offstage makes you a tryhard? Well, sorry, Nero, your victory against Zero doesn't mean shit. I mean, you went off the stage to kill him, you fucking tryhard. Thing is about offstage play, it's a risk situation with a high payoff. Yes, you could possibly risk falling off the stage by going too deep, but you can also have a good chance at getting an early KO. If you can balance those options and come out on top taking the bigger risk, the payoff is much greater on your end. Speaking of high risk slash high reward, guess which two characters benefit the greatest from taking huge risks? You guessed it. Ness and Lucas. PK Thunder is such a hard-hitting move if you can make it connect on the first frame. Well, more so for Ness, not so much for Lucas, but still has a great knockback and KO potential. And if you hit it off stage, you can nap some really stupidly early kills, which can become a huge game changer and put pressure on your opponent. Point is, offstage play is a very practice-heavy tactic that takes time to master. Not an indication of someone trying too hard. Okay, so you speed up the clip letting us know Samus has a fully charged plasma shot, so you bat it back at her. To be honest, you batting back the fully charged plasma shot would have been even cooler to see if you didn't already foreshadow it, because at that point, I'm already expecting it to happen. In fact, wanna know how you could have done this better? Just skipping to the part where you do it. You don't need all this build-up to something you already made obvious. That's not how suspense works. Says the guy who spams up smash more times than a Pikachu spams down B. You're both scrubs, get over it. Just a t- Aw, oh, stupid run on gag. Monsoon is crying from your lack of memes. That's not exquisite. Oh, come on, you could have totally told Link we tech those. But no, instead you resort to making MLG jokes painful. Bruh, you just killed a minority, you racist fuck. Chaos Key, you do know you are fighting Mega Man, right? 
a character who practically has to rely on ranged attacks to do shit. Yeah, he has a few melee attacks, but he's mostly a ranged character, so he really doesn't have a lot of choices aside from taking risks with projectiles. You might as well be bragging about how you beat a paraplegic in a 100-yard dash. Hehe, <laughs> you crippled people never learn. Behold, the only awesome thing Chaos Key manages to do. I mean, as shitty as this montage is, I gotta give him credit for that bear spike. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> What, no Lucia ya later? I mean, come on, the joke was right there! And not even how you baited the counter, just... Die. Not only am I not impressed by this, but this is the 50th time I've seen that move be used. Not even in combination with anything else for some extra flavor, just this one fucking move over and over again. I get the montage is called Field the PK Love, but damn, it's called Mix Up for God's sakes. And it's 15 minutes of this! 15 fucking minutes of the same move being spammed over and over again. I mean, I may up smash a lot as Palutena, but at least I attempt a combo with it. There, TP, I finally finished this video. I hope you're happy. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going back to watch Smoothie Otter playing Ness. <laughs> that will never not be awesome.